Welcome to the YouTube channel of Philosophy Insights. Today's video is about Janice Biamengo and why universities are an especially unfavorable environment for young men. Also, a shout out to the Rubin Report who permitted the use of this clip. Let us start with an observation by Fiamengo about the attitude of many professors. Step away from the power, as Professor Susanna Walters said in that um, Washington Post piece, mm. uh, why can't we hate men? You know, that's what you have to do as a man. You have to bear the weight of centuries of male privilege and oppressive behavior. And so you just have to step back, don't run for office, don't do anything. I mean, you know, as if, I mean, <laughs> unbelievable. But, Bow but forever, yeah, basically. Mm -hmm, basically, uh, yeah, and yeah, be abject, apologize for your so-called privilege and let your sisters come forward and make the world a better place. And and that is, I mean, that it's so crude and so ridiculous, but I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that that is the message that most young men are getting at university today. That the only way to be a good man is to focus all of your energy and attention on someone else, whether it's, uh, um, you know, on, on helping women or on helping the indigenous or whatever it happens to be, that you can't have your own concerns, you can't have your own needs, and you certainly can't have your own problems or issues. Um, One problem with this university culture is that fighting back can have really high cost. You might love the research and teaching and many colleges will never bother you with politics, However, especially if you're an earlier career academic and will often get impossible to speak up. After all, no one wants to hire someone not yet established in the field if there's a controversy surrounding this person, especially if you can have 10 other candidates that come with a clean slate. Fiamengo says the following about how she got into pushing back against the mainstream university narrative. It's very difficult to be on the other side of a social justice issue because to be on the right side, the left side, <laughs> you, right. yeah, the correct side, I should say, the left side, it's easy because you hear the arguments mm -hmm. over and over again. So, you, you know, you just, you know, you just have to open your mouth and out they all come. And, yeah. and usually people are stunned into embarrassed silence as soon as you start attacking them with your, your, your various claims and your various charges against them. But to be able to argue um, really effectively on the other side, you not only have to know the the all the left side arguments, but then you have to you know research all all these things that you'd been taught were simply not true or were unthinkable or you know were impossible. And um, yeah, it's not not my area of expertise. Certainly, um, you know my area of expertise is literature, but um, and I don't think I'm very good. Like you have to be good in debate and you know answering people's challenging questions. And I hate all that. I'm terrible at that. But but and so well, if there a were fine mess you've gotten yourself into. <laughs> yeah. So and I didn't really you know and I I didn't entirely understand um, what it would be like. Like when I gave my first couple of talks and. Uh, they were protested and they pulled the fire alarms and there were a lot of really angry students in the audience. I really had no idea that it was going to be like that. I thought it was just going to, I was sort of going to talk about academic feminism in a, in a sort of bounded way. And I knew that because I'd studied it for years, but I didn't realize I was going to be asked to answer questions about, you know, everything to do with the relations between men and women and, you know, rape and all of these big issues. So I didn't do a very good job, I didn't think, but, um, but you know, nobody else is, is doing it. And so I want to keep on. And then I started doing my video series uh, three years ago. And, um, and that uh, has given me a lot of satisfaction, actually, because, well, as soon as I started speaking in public, I got a lot of emails, an incredible number of emails, mm -hmm. mostly from young men, some from men not that young, talking about their experiences. And it blew me away the the and I know Jordan's talked about this too, but the the amount of pain that there is out there, um, the number of young men who just want to, they love women in most cases. They want to have a happy relationship. They've never intended to hurt or oppress anyone. And yet they're told that even without intending to, they do just by looking at a young woman, you know, or 
asking her out on a date. They're doing some sort of violence. And the pain that that has caused and the uncertainty and the confusion and the resentment as well. It's, uh, you know, and some of these young men have themselves been abused. Their parents, sometimes their mothers have been abusive uh, or girlfriends. And yet they're in, you know, they have to hear over and over again about how it's only men who are ever abusive. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's amazing to me. Like once you go into down the rabbit hole or whatever it is, and you see the, 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 our culture from the other side. And every time you turn on the news, there's yet another story about, you know, whatever, the terrible problem of cat calling and how it represents, you know, the, the, the deep misogyny of North American culture and what needs to be done about it and, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's astounding. So, so now I sort of feel like, um, with my videos anyway, that my, my role is to at least to say to young men that you're not crazy. Our culture is, is actually crazy. And you can definitely witness in universities that many are dissatisfied and have a counter opinion against the political correct narrative. One even finds that with quite left leaning students, still the culture of suppressing dissenting speech stays very successful. Thank you for watching this video, and if you like the content, subscribe to Philosophy Insights.